for some Crusader Kings 3. Oh, start and stop record. Excellent. Time for record. Blah, blah, blah. Time for Crusader Kings 3. We are King Fasty Abnock Chin Watson of Great Scotland of the Petroling Dynasty. We started on a island, little island of Gotland over here with basically nothing. And now we own, uh, like, in a sense, the Kingdom of Sweden, although we renamed it to the Kingdom of Great Scotland. Uh, because it's cool. We have the Kingdom of Norway, we have the Kingdom of Denmark, we have the Kingdom of England. Um, in particular, having Norway, Denmark, England is what is needed to pursue, secure the Kingdom of the North Sea, the High Kingdom, basically an emperor title. Um, we need to hold the entire region of the North Sea heartlands, which we do. It's Eastern England, uh, and then bits of Norway and Denmark over here. Uh, and then we have to have the three kingdom titles, which we do. The Sweden title, which is what we got first, doesn't actually apply. Um, but then we have to hold them for 30 years. Now, we've held Denmark for 30 years. Uh, we've had Norway for a while. It's it's nearly there. The big one is England, uh, where we grabbed it in 944. So it's 974. We've got to go another 12 years holding on to this to do it. We are currently 49 years old. Our health is fine. We are trying to do things to boost our health to hopefully not die from that. And hopefully we won't get assassinated either. Um, we've got a big stonking army. We could go and start some wars and things like that. Mostly though, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to try to kind of chill and look for stability wherever possible. Uh, we've got lots of land that is not of our religion, not of our culture. So there's some inherent instability over there. Uh, apparently there's a factions, factions, yeah, indeed, that are sort of brewing and might do some rabble rabble. None of them are actually dangerous, truly. Um, but we may not want to expend a bunch of our energy at war uh, or anything like that. So I think there's going to be a little bit more time being spent at home just chilling. That being said, we are actually in three wars, um, but they're not our wars. These are wars that uh, our allies are involved in, and they're they're fairly miniature over here. So you can see the red areas. These are the bits that we're at war with. They're fairly small and insignificant. I don't. Oh, over here in the north. So nothing too meaningful. Um, I have ra raised two armies, uh, and they are going to go and help deal with the war over here. In fact, I might just send you to the enemy capital that way. No skulls along the way, so I don't think we're gonna lose anyone. Although, you know what? Let's just embark and then land here. It'll go quite a bit faster. It'll save us on a little bit of attrition. We'll spend a little bit of money. That's gonna be fine. Amoa, thank you very much for the gift subs. And then our second army is way down here. It's gonna go and boop some dudes and then siege something down. Uh, so both of those are gonna deal uh, with things fairly effectively. I think we can go ahead and just unpause. Clean up the Gordoborn Wales. I mean, it's not our border gore, so it's kind of fine. We've got some internal warfare going on here. But, I mean, we could do that. There Clearly, there's a bunch of independents over here, so each one of them would be pretty easy to squash. And that's something we could consider doing just to clean up the borders. But again, I'm a little bit worried about adding internal instability with religion and whatnot. <gasps> My daughter, Mr. Brightside, has got consumption. Consumption pneumonia? I think so, right? I don't remember. Um, wants to know how to treat my daughter. My quick daughter over here. No, I mean, let's let's try uh, let's try drastic measures. Get it done. TB! Thank you. Thank you. TB. Tuberculosis. Greatly reduced disease symptoms. That's lovely. Excellent. Okay. Let's go up to speed four. Speaking of internal stuff, you might want to deal with Uber Mercia. Help me out here. Uh, what's the search command? Let's find title. V, not F. Yarldom of Mercia? Right. That's right. We actually, I think, helped to grow this by like doing a bunch of mass murdering uh, over here. Um, the issue is with this Yarldom, like, he still has a bunch of people in his family. At some point, if he dies without an heir, it'll go to his liege, which should be me. Um, he's not too keen on me because I am a murderer. We did get busted doing one of these. But he's actually not that much in a bad mood. We could actually give him a role. Uh, well, I can't give him the learning-based one because I don't think we can give it to someone landed. Plus, we just recently gave it to Nuclear Raisin over here, um, which seemed to go up here. This is one of the people we want as an heir, um, and I don't think it invalidates the airing from having this over here. Who isn't a murderer? I mean, there is that. 
That is true. Uh, I mean, I guess I could give him the Chancellor role, because a 10's not that much worse than a 14. We could just try to sway him. In fact, I think that might be it. He's of our religion and everything, which is nice. I mean, he's not of our culture. But why don't we just sway this guy? Oh, no game sounds! Right, of course, my bad. There we go. Because I had it running in the background, so it'd be ready, so I had it muted in Windows. Game sounds are now there. Chief Flamebeard. Uh, my heir is trying to murder my son, Water the Wet. I mean... Could you not? <laughs> I can imprison you. He's not important to you. He's my heir, but he's not important to me. Um, we have a 100% chance to succeed. We could imprison him and then release him. I don't think there's any reason... I don't think there's any reason why that would be bad. I mean, he'll be a little cranky as I imprisoned him, but then we can just release him again. The game sounds are there now. They just might be a little quiet. There's definitely some th sounds when we hit the buttons. If I'm not talking, right? Is there any reason not to imprison him? I might get rid of the criminal status, yeah. The thing is, I, I, because I don't know if I can pardon him now. Pardon was there? Oh, there it is. Grant pardon. There you go. I pardon you for trying to scheme against my son. Oh, new lifestyle perk. Please, yes. We'll take mental resilience, which doesn't really do much for us, but then we can get the healthy and then eventually whole of body, which is going to be another uh, nice health boost. Which we want to make sure we don't randomly die from a stupid disease like a year before we would get to form our kingdom. Kazale, my daughter, difficult time at her latest feet, sneaked out early and is not seen for the rest of the evening. Oh, she's impatient. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... The impatient's gonna be better than some of these other traits. That's gonna be okay. <laughs> what are the wets in chat? Father doesn't care if I live or die. Ah! Fine! More of these wars. Okay, where's... Um, it's the Holy War for Poland. It's over here. It's a bit... I was gonna say, it's a bit more significant. No, apparently it's really not any more significant. But what I can do, move our rally point over here, raise some extra troops. It's going to be more than we need, but you know what? At this point, screw it. I'll leave my troops up and we'll just go and, like, deal with things. I'm going to grab one of these armies and tell you to move over there. And then you can move here, and you can move here. And I don't even care that much. Oh, uh, yes, Essentia, please go ahead and uh, do the giveaway now. Yeah, I have my Gmail muted. But yes, champs about incoming, starting the Stellaris giveaway. Key phrase is Star Wars. Excellent! So yes, if you don't have Stellaris, we have a Steam key for you. If you don't have Stellaris yet, like, woof. Man, it's been out for a while, but maybe you've missed the sales. Some people have tighter money. Ooh. Okay, as my eyes meet... Am I seducing someone? No, it's a random event. Duchess... I mean... Is it Duchess Loafwine? I know, it's, maybe it's like Llewellyn or something. Hey, hold on, wait. This is the wife of the Duke of Mercia. Who is hideous. On the other hand, if we can get a good uh, reputation with her, it might help with some of the other assassinations. I don't know. Um, and my body responding, her husband and my vassal is also here tonight. I find her once she's asleep. Let everyone know of her sinful thoughts. Which makes my wife happy. She would gain strumpet for 15 years. Or know my heart remains pure. Why are you sighing, Essentia? What happened? You went too fast, so I don't know if there's anything you're responding to. Hmm. Pay attention, folks. Uh, it is 
one word. It's Star Space Wars. It's two words, apparently. Star Space Wars. That's that's probably what's going on. You know what? No, my heart's just going to remain pure. Oh, was this the retreating army that just happened to walk into the wrong area? Maybe it was a raider over there. I don't know. Um, there's some other places we're at war with. Somewhere down here. Okay, that's that one in the north. Uh, I don't think we ever sent some troops over here. So, tell you what. This stack here. Head over here. And I'm not leading... Oh, I am leading this army. That's That could have been really bad. Um, there you go. Let's not lead an army. See, in CK2, there was a little button you could click on the character sheet and say never lead army. And that would have been kind of nice here. I'm just going to bulk um, ransom some prisoners. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't need to execute. I've got maximum piety. Um, we might be able to torture for some some stats, but we're just, mass ransom is going to be fine. Nothing else. We might want the money in case there is a real war that starts, and then we can go and uh, merc up a bunch. Form new alliance. Okay. I'm, I created a bunch of alliances because it seemed like a good idea. Um, oh, yeah. Let's feast. We've got some stress. Um you know, defensively, but that's why we're being pulled into all these little garbage wars here. He's going down. We can get a friendship with a mayor. It seems like a decent idea. One of our mayors. What? Can't remember what led up to it. Tell me I would do anything he asked for. Uh, you know what? Screw you. No. Ooh, took a full prince hostage. There you go. One of the wars is 100%ed. That's great. Tastefully insulting. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my enthusiastic wife, Queen Alette, is sensitive to coriander is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. Oh, we've seen this before. Yeah. Bad reaction food. Make my wife a rival. Or I, her face as I save her from the food is to my liking. I'll get prestige and gain a hook on my, on my wife. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, is the number between minus 100 and plus 100? Thank you very much. We had questions about that last time. Oh, the rabble rabble. Okay, annoyingly, all my troops are raised and oot in a boot somewhere right now. So that is kind of annoying. But, yeah, yeah. Every county. Nope. So we're going to have a peasant uprising. It's nothing I'm concerned about because the numbers are microscopic. Unless they're hiding something somewhere else, but so far, new. No. Uh, oh, you've completed your siege over here. Great. Come out to sea and come beat the shit out of these peasants. Thanks. Cheers. The peasants are revolting. Well, when aren't they? Um, so you're not doing anything. We have some sieges that are done. I suppose I could just dismiss you. I don't think I've got to bring you home or anything. Got some raiders running around here. I guess I'll disband you. And then in two months we can just raise you up somewhere else. You're not doing anything here, right? Four months, so you're further away. Did I disband the wrong one? No, okay. You're there and you're moving, which is great. These two are sieging. You are over here and not doing anything. Um, I don't remember what war this is. Oh. We've got a realm over here we can siege. Oh, that's already been sieged out. I don't know, then let's try to hunt down one of these little armies, then. Oh, can I no longer increase control? Oh, because there's peasants there! Oh, also, you're not doing culture conversions. Actually, not there. What I want... We might decide, um, this is the, the Duchy of York over here, uh, Lincolnshire, and then East, North, and West Riding. I don't know why there's not a South Riding. You know what? We should rename Lincolnshire to South Riding just for, for proper symmetry. Um, we might decide to keep, we might hold three Duchy titles. We'll get a penalty from doing that, but it might be worthwhile. 
Yay, Wars 1. Hooray. Oh, I was so invested in these difficult, difficult wars. Are they actually successfully sieging here? I guess we need some, some better keeps. I guess departing my, my feast. I like how I didn't even interrupt my feast to do any of this. There's not just like a diplomatic map mode, is there? It used to be, it'd be great. You just, like, If you click the wars, it does highlight terrain that you're at war with. Okay, there's, we're not at war with anyone in this area, so let's go ahead and not disband here, apparently. Okay. Alright, come to a friendly area then, I suppose. I guess I could just do a disband all when the war is done. Um, I always like to go to uh, the diplomatic map mode to just read everything that, you know, we are we are against. These guys are going to get smushed. Is this my war? No. It's at 100%. I don't know why they haven't pieced out. Oh, there you go. They finally done did it. I'm gonna wait for the hunt. There you go. 100% the peasant war. Locals pacified for 25 years. That seems useful. We have our daughter-in-law gave birth to a baby who is both quick and pretty. Nice. All right, drawing a name. Reptail! Reptail, who has been someone in our CK3 game before. Reptail, may you grow to be strong and wise. Can you recruit the peasant leader? I don't know. That was something you could do a lot in CK2, right? You beat them in a war, and then as part of the uh, part of the peace out, you would um, you would recruit them. Pretty quick. I wonder if someone just got captured in that war. I mean, this is not this is not one of my actual wars here. I can still do that in CK3. I don't know which one is the peasant leader is the problem. Probably this one for 42 days. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh yeah, there's the recruit. You're right. Well, we want to convert them and recruit them. He's pretty angry right now. And he's going to be more pissed. I don't know if I want someone this cranky in my, my place, you know? We got whiskey and chocolate from who dead? Oh, I don't have the right tab open. I guess less cranky in the same religion. I mean, that's true. Uh, Brave Boy, thank you very much. Uh, found you last year during the pandemic. Thanks for being a light in darkness. Well, thank you very much. Bravo boy. Bravo boy. Not brave boy. Thank you. I mean, I guess more people in the court is helpful, but... So we've only got one war left over. It's this one over here, where we do have someone sieging out. Alright. And then we're trying to sway the uh, the Jarl of Mercia, who is kind of a super Jarl. Schemer, this person is plotting against my prisoner. Okay. He is a decent knight, that's true. Because he had, he had like 19 martial. Uh, okay, Duchess Wolfhild, who I believe we assassinated her mother, because she was one of our, our Dutch, our, um, yeah, one of our vassals who ran a duchy. Um, we had her assassinated because she didn't like us. Then the child, we just became their guardian so that we could enforce the religion. That's the problem. She wouldn't bend the knee to our religion or wouldn't accept the religion. So we made her do that. Uh, she's going to stay arrogant. It's whiskey and chocolate. I mean, we could gain some stress and then immediately go hunting. Like, I wonder if there's any value for our vassal to have something. If we make her compassionate, it actually would make her less intriguey, which might be useful. But no, she can just be arrogant. That's fine. I don't think I care. I think you should check if the peasant leader is your rival. Uh, we do have a rival. Countess Malfior. Insane antagonist. Uh-huh. She's got claims, but that's it. Like, she's not particularly intriguing. She's got no land. I have no idea why, um, why she's my rival, but there you go. 
Let's, um... Let's release everyone who's Norse. Oh, how come Mass Ransom's not available? Is it all the same person? King Croft. King Croft. And you don't have anything. It must be because it's all the same person. They must already be in a, um, considering one. Hey, awful human. Hey, Quilt, you taught me to play Civ 6 and Vicky 2. You like your content. Thanks so much. Stay well. I, and I have not played enough of Vicky 2. Oh, yes, you're right. My head is not um, optimally positioned for this game. I think we want to be here instead. Yeah, we could assassinate for piety, but I guess there's no reason to do that. So, convert. There's no reason to recruit you. We'll just send you back home as the other religion. Yeah, and you're already considering a proposal. That's fine. Okay, everyone else is Norse. We'll just we'll try the... Um, do your Vicky 3. <laughs> yeah, totally. Everyone knows. You guys know Vicky 3 is coming out next week, right? Can't afford the full ransom. Can't afford the full ransom. Oh, you can. For this prisoner. Let's do a little bit of that. So there's still this one war going on, which is what you're doing. Oh, this army can stand down. This army can stand down. And this army here is about to finish the siege, which will probably finish this war. Would you play Vicky 2 if Vicky 3 is announced? I think we'd have to. Hang on, how come this isn't a 100% war score? We have their only land sieged. Oh, my brother died. I mean, it's not my war. Did, did they siege out something? Did they control this? No. Maybe they have a bunch of prisoners? Well, no, there's, no, there's nothing else. There's something down south? No, this is the only red blotch on the entire map. That's the ally? So... It's the same person. Chieftas Alexandra of Plotsk. Chieftas... No. Oh, they, they do have a little bit of siege, I guess. All right. Oh, I was looking at the uh, friendly ally. I'm, whoa! Oh, it's because of the river. I'm like, what is this path? But yeah, they're, they're going out to sea. All right. Bro died. Yes, you're right. Time to hunt. I guess there's some internal warfare going on over here. Hunt far from people. Away from the others, I came across a cottage housing one of the most beautiful people I've ever laid my eyes on. She invited me to stay and rest, and I was surprised by how much I had in common with a simple peasant. Do you have to return to the hunt already, my lord? I've never met one such as you. Seems sketchy. Why, if I remain here any longer, I'd have to stay the night. I would lose... Okay, L I less than normal stress. I already don't have any stress. I can resist advances. Theocratic rulers like me more. I gain some piety. Or, please let me set you up at court. So I spend money, 50-50 challenge, that she joins the court, and I might form a, a r intimate relationship with her. She's a witch, definitely a witch. I mean, beautiful beautiful woman randomly living in a cottage in the woods. But what's, what's so bad about a witch? I'm worried that we're going to die. The thing is, normally, uh, in, in most games, I would say we'd 100% just go for this. I'm really worried we'll just randomly die and ruin our goal. So... I think we're going to have to go with number two. A little boring, but we really need to get the, uh, the high 
the high thing. Because it'd be like, if you say, like, she's a witch, and like, 100% I want to say yes, because it sounds like it leads to fun. And generally in Crusader Kings, I try to pick options that lead to fun, even if they're not, you know, optimal. But here, I really want to get the High Kingdom done. It would just be really frustrating to lose it now. We've got 10 years to go. So plenty of internal warfare. You're moving down here, and yeah, we're going to boop these guys. Or try. I don't know if we'll actually catch them anywhere. There we go. We caught them there. And another army caught for lots of war score. And then we can de-siege. Oops, come on. Left you. Come over here and de-siege this. In dealings with Earl, I accidentally made certain promises. Oh. Reduce his tax or give him a hook. Uh, Alright, just release his reduce his taxes. A lot of times that's what they use their hook for anyway, but I don't want it to be like, they're going to use a hook to force me to like murder my own heir or something annoying like that. Moldovia is the war enemy. They're blue on the map because all of Mor Moldovia is the war goal. Oh. Okay, so this is the capital I got to see. Now I understand. Okay, so this is already, yeah. Alright, so let's just go for the capital. Krizale, you, you can be shy, that's fine, I don't care. Now I understand. What this weird display? Can we agree that that's like... I mean, maybe maybe it's the stripey, I gotta look for the stripey then. There's some unintuitiveness going on over here. Uh, so someone said, we finished converting, that's great news. So we're just going to keep working converting. Wait, is Lincolnshire... Did I never convert Lincolnshire specifically? I guess not. Alright, let's do that. And then I want to go back to... Uh, gaining control in Lincolnshire. That got booped because of the peasants. Should be stripey red. Yeah, I agree. And like, blue. Like, your friendly territory is normally blue. But here our target is blue? Whack. Uh, new perk. Yes, excellent. We're going to have healthy for a medium health boost. Is that going to put us back in the green? No. Because we're getting a little older. We're still fine. It would be nice to have green, though, just to lower the chance something bad happens. So they're trying to de-siege over here is what's going on. But if we siege out their capital, that will hopefully be good. It would be nice if we had our siege equipment over here, but we don't. I'm getting, like, massively attrition here massively, but it, I think it's worth trying to focus that. Who's this guy? Long evening, company of some dude. Wanderer stopped by in Visby for the night. Tales of exploits lasted hours, and two giants had actually... And if the two giants actually had gone ahead with their home gang, Iceland would surely sunk back in the sea. Luckily, I talked them down, really. Tale after tale, the saga continues each anecdote longer and larger than the last. Rough terrain expert commander... So, joins a court, or I do an intrigue challenge, 100% chance I'll win and gain some prestige because he's lying, or I can gain generous host. I don't, you know what, I think I'd rather generous host for 10 years. He's not bad. I would not mind having him at a court, but I think plus five general opinion for 10 years? Yeah, I'm going to do that. No offense, dude. I would've... Like, why can't I have both? Why can't I be a good host and have you join? I guess then people would be like, no, no, all you wanted is, is him because of his, his, you know, his usefulness to you. You weren't just hosting to be nice. These are just raiders. I actually don't have to go and boop you. Let's see if we can go and slam this army over here. Oh! My counselor died of old age. Alright, well, I mean, that's that's winning the game in Crusader Kings, you know? So, this is stewardship. Ugh, okay. Obviously, we're not going to put a powerful vassal, because our best powerful vassal is only a six. So, we're going to go ahead and... This is still a vassal, just not a powerful one, with 20 freaking two. All right. 